I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them, and I, the Lord, will be their God. In nomine Patris et Filius Spiritus Sancti, Gracia Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi et Caritas Dei, Communicatio Sancti Spiritus Sitcom Omnibus Vobis. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May my God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christeleison. Kyrie eleison. Oremos. O God, who made the Bishop St. Cyril of Alexandria an invincible champion of the Divine Motherhood, the most, blessed, of the most blessed Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who believe she is truly the Mother of God may be saved through the incarnation of Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehushta, daughter of Elathon, of Jerusalem, he did evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his forebears had done. At that time, the officials of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem, and the city came under siege. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, himself arrived at the city, while his servants were besieging it. Then Jehoiakim, king of Judah, together with his mother, his ministers, his officers, and functionaries, surrendered the king of Babylon, who in the eighth year of his reign took him captive. And he carried off all the treasures, the temples of the Lord and those of the palace, and broke up all the golden utensils that Solomon, king of Israel, had provided in the temple of the Lord, as the Lord had foretold. He, departed all, he deported all Jerusalem and all the officers and men of the army, 10,000 in number, and all the craftsmen and smiths, None were left among the people of the land except the poor. He deported Jehoiachin to Babylon and also led captive from Jerusalem to Babylon the king's mother and wives, his functionaries, his functionaries and the chief men of the land. The king of Babylon also led captive, also led captive to Babylon all seven thousand men of the army, a thousand craftsmen and smiths, and all of them trained soldiers in place of Jehoiachin, the king of Babylon, appointed his uncle Mataniah king and changed his name to Zedekiah. Verbum Domini. For the glory of name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. You have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of the of heaven, and the flesh of your faithful ones, the, the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. They have become the reproach of your neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O oh Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Dominus Rabiscum. Alexia Sancte Evangelii Segunda Matteo. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I'll declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. And the rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been solidly built on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will, not, will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rains fell, the, the floods came, the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Verbum Domini. Obedience, obedience, obedience. Where, where, how are we not getting our minds around the essence of our faith, the intrinsic value of our faith lies in loving, humble obedience to all that Jesus taught. And that is exemplified, that is manifest in the magisterium of the church, the authority of the church, the papacy, the magisterium, the fullness of truth, the deposit of faith that is the Catholic Church, handed on by Christ to his apostles, to the bishops, subsequently from generation to generation, hierarchy to hierarchy within the church. It's about obedience. Our Christian brothers and sisters who don't understand this, who think that all you need to do is proclaim Jesus on your lips and believe it in your heart and you're saved. No, Jesus counteracts that. And he says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father. So it's not good enough to just proclaim Jesus on your lips and believe in your heart that he's the Lord, that he is the Savior. You need to obey all that he commanded. Everything, obey. That is the essence of our faith. And many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, I prophesied your name. I drove out demons in your name. I did mighty deeds in your name. Then I'll declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers, you sinful people. You did not obey. And then he, he, he doubles down. He says, look at everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them are wise. And those who hear these words and don't act on them. Act what? What is Jesus saying? Those who hear these words of mine and obey are wise. And those who hear these words and do not obey are fools. These people who reject the primacy of Peter, Pope Francis, reject the last 60 years of the church, reject valid forms of the mass, valid Vatican councils. You're fools. There's nothing wise in what you're thinking or saying. You're Protestants. You're just like the people that Jesus refers to as he refers here. You're not doing the will of our Father in heaven who gave us Jesus and established an authority on earth, the church. Where else are you going to find the truth? Within yourself? That's Protestant. 
some subjective understanding of the truth, that's Protestant. And the Protestants, what? Proclaim Jesus on your lips and believe it in your heart, right? And that's what Taylor Marshall and John Henry Weston and all the rest of them say, I follow Jesus. I proclaim Jesus is king. Christ is king. But if you're not willing to obey his authority on earth, you are a fool. How is this not clear? And again, just like Vigano fell into ruin, he was he collapsed and was completely he's completely ruined now unless he repents. Why? Because he built this house on sand. He didn't want to obey. He wanted to do what he wants to do, believe what he wants to believe. He is his own authority. It's Protestant. These words are so powerful, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And this is still the Sermon on the Mount. Chapters 5, 6, and 7. We are in 7, 21 to 29. So Jesus is pounding this point home time and time again. Be perfected in the Beatitudes. Be salt and light. Be merciful as my Father is merciful. Strive for perfection. Strive for holiness. That comes through loving, humble obedience. Strive to enter through the narrow gate. It's about obedience. Obedience to all that Jesus taught, chapters 5, 6, and 7. And then the Eucharistic Discourse, John chapter 6. Remain in me and I remain in you. Abide in me. So I abide in my Father. It's all about obedience, my brothers and sisters of Christ. Loving, humble obedience. And that's what we should be reflecting on. How am I obedient? Not subjectively obedient, but objectively obedient. Obedient to God's will for me in my life. Not even checking out boxes, but how do I desire to do God's will for me in my life? His objective will and me objectively obedient. Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs for the Catholic Church, for the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, for our seminary study, for the priesthood, for those discerning religious life, for mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, that everyone in their vocation may desire to do all things in humble obedience for the praise, honor, and glory of God, and atonement and reparation for our sins, and charity and chastity in our vocations, we pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, Eucharistic unity amongst all Christians, the conversion of the world, the conversion of nations, conversion of political leaders, conversions necessary within the hierarchy of the church, uh, conversions necessary in our families, our own daily personal conversions, for anyone that we've wounded or led astray in our lives, for anyone that's wounded us, that we be reconciled with everyone. For the uh, end of all the vicious attacks against life, marriage, and family, and for the least of Christ's brethren, the unborn, the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry, the imprisoned, for all those suffering any trial or tribulation, whether it be physical or spiritual, that they may find comfort in Jesus as we reach out to them. In spiritual and corporal works of mercy, we pray to the Lord. And for the particular intentions of this Mass, the repose of the soul of Archbishop Michael Sheehan, the repose of the soul of John Imbarato, for all the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, in particular our deceased loved ones and family members, for the intentions of all those who we said we would pray for, including those who may forget to pray for, for the intentions of those who pray for us, encourage us, support us each and every day, our personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial intentions, vocational intentions. And for our loved ones and family members who are away from the church, that they may embrace Christ's sacraments of mercy, we pray to the Lord. And we ask for this. We ask for all good things through the intercession of St. Cyril of Jerusalem, St. Joseph, St. Padre Pio, and the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.
Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted, God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of blessed St. Cyril of Jerusalem, of Alexandria, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. Dominos verbiscum, sorsum corda, gracias agimus domino deo nostro. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Cyril of Alexandria, you bid your church rejoice, so too. You strengthen her by the example of his holy life and teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fide. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et con ipso, et in ipso is tibi deo papli omnipotenti, unitate spiritus sancti omnas in all gloria per omnia secula seculorum. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity. In accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Pax Domino, sit semper fabiscum, on your day. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is that servant whom the Lord finds awake when he comes and knocks at the gate. On Amos, renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed St. Cyril of Alexandria, may strive to profess what he believed and practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Dominos, for Biscum, Benedicta, Vos, Omni Potens, Deus, Pater, Filia, Spiritus, Sanctus, Ita, Misa, S. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, o Prince of Evelios, by the power of God, cast it down, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you for joining us today, my brothers and sisters of Christ, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Invite your family and friends to also my YouTube channel it can be accessed through protestchildkilling.com. I love you. Just pray for me. I'll pray for you. Go out to the world today, my friends. Give them heaven. Father Imperato Live coming up shortly. Please stay with us. Have a great day.